Today, I speak to you about pattern recognition. Pattern recognition. This is the most critical thing to understand when trading crypto. In technical analysis, there are many patterns. The problem with technical analysis, and hear me clearly, is that it does not work. It fills you with clutter and confusion and never gives you a clear decision as to what to do. And the more technical analysis points, data points that you add to this, the more you will become frozen with paralysis and afraid to trade. This is in stocks, this is in crypto, this is in everything. What I am is a pattern recognition specialist, but I work on specific patterns. And those patterns are the patterns of telling the immediate future, using the present to be able to tell the immediate future. See, now, we are without a doubt, it may not be right now, but it may be soon, going to go over, and I've been tracking this, $1,700, $17,000. And I posted it, I'll show you a couple of minutes ago in my Discord. Why is that? It's two things. It's 2 o'clock New York City time, or if you're using a VPN, 14.01, it is 2 p.m. It is one of the afternoon pump times. So we combine that with the time of day, and we know what's about to happen. Now, why is 17,000 an important number? It's reading humanity. The psychology, you see, all this does is pump and dump. We like the small time frames because it's much easier to get in and out. Why sit in trades for days and stare at charts like a moron? Anyway, so let me continue with this. So when we're close to a whole number and we're going up, especially after dumping a lot, people get hopeful. All of this, they talk about the whales. Here's a six-hour chart. This is 360 minutes, one candle, of epic pumping and dumping. Okay, They won't be able to resist over 17,000. I'll show you. I posted it in advance in my daily updates. Okay, But this, again, is human nature. To them, in their minds, okay, 17,000 is like the new 20,000. Under 17,000, at this very moment, they're excited about it. And unfortunately, many people are going to get liquidated in this because they don't have true direction. Okay, Now, if you're using the BitMEX just for charts like I do, I trade on... I trade on BitGet, and I trade on Fibit. Okay, I'm not logged into either one of them right now. I wanted to make this video for you on patterns. I'm going to show you things that will help you greatly. First pattern is this, okay? Reading humanity. You know they're going to go over 17,000 probably in this video. But let me take you back and show you some other things from inside my private paid Discord. So if we go back on to the 27th, Okay, remember, now, the 27th was Sunday, 11.27, at 7 a.m. in the morning, okay, 7 a.m. in the morning. Here we go. Let me play some of this. Oracle, Oracle said, said when we have a Sunday dump, dump many times it happens Sunday evening NYC time. Think about how much sense this makes. The weekend is just Crypto Freaks Monday brings the institutions whom everyone is trying to be in front of. We need to keep in mind none of these companies that are in crypto trouble are making announcements on a weekend or us holiday and that's what we just had. This is all speculation in order to be aware but the drill down and direction will tell you what you need in order to choose direction. Okay, so this is a Sunday pattern. So when we come here, and we'll talk about this more, this is a something that really happens for a reason. Many times we'll pump into Friday and Saturday. Why? Because there's no institutions. The volume is low and it's just crypto freaks. And it pumps very easily. It's a relatively small market. And then usually Sunday evening around 7 p.m. Now pay attention because I'm going to prove this out. I am not an after the fact jack. I'll show you reality. Usually on Sunday nights we dump. Is it guaranteed every time? Of course not. But... It's more likely than not that this will happen. Just like the 2 p.m. afternoon pumps that we see, okay, are more likely than not to happen. So, what do you do with a 2 p.m. afternoon pump? Here we go over 17,000. Here it comes, and it is 2 p.m. New York City time, is probably 2.05. Yeah, 2.05. So, here we go. All right, now, may not go straight up, whatever. 
But we know that this pump comes at 2 o'clock. We call it the bus. They're probably talking about it in my Discord group. I'm the only one who really trades in all my videos. And let's hold on. Click this. Hold on. Quiet, Oracle. Bitcoin. Quiet. All right. So click more. It's hard to find. Here's the link for Fibit. Here's the link for BitGet. You must use a VPN. Here's the link for my consult in Discord. Okay. And that's what I'm talking about. You can learn more. Okay. If it ever loads. I got 40 pages open. That's why to show you. But you can learn more about it here. This includes lifetime access to my Discord, the private consultation with me, everything you need to learn to be able to rapid fire and rip through these trades like I do. Where are we at? Here it comes. Well, let's get back to where we are. This is Sunday morning at 7 a.m. This is unedited. So we're already warning of some kind of dump to happen on Sunday in the evening at a specific time. And again, this was last week. It's easier for me to show you the past so I can prove that this is 100% legitimate. Now, so this is on the 26th. Okay, things are not over from FTX, blah, blah, blah. Remember, everything has been closed since Wednesday. Talking about major markets and everything that matters. Reality will come again. So, we're saying that Sunday dump happened Sunday night. There was no action over the weekend when this happened. And then... We come here, right? And it's funny, this all these little things that I post constantly as I'm trading. Now, this is Sunday at almost 11 o'clock in the, in the morning, okay? Core understanding is that it pumps and dumps. That's all it does, okay? And the core understanding is it only goes up and down. The smaller the time frames, the more often it happens. You need to be less analytical about your trading. If you see a trend, jump into it. Don't go into it late. Everything is designed so we can catch these moves based on the size of the candles. So people who had consultations know I have typos here all the time. I don't really fix them because I don't care. I'm busy trading and everything else in real time. So here in this image, I wasn't even talking about the price. I was talking about look at this chart pattern. Okay. Looking at that one out here, down here. Okay. Those who lose trades. Okay. Not traits. Anyway, those, that's when I speak to my phone. It doesn't understand my New York accent. New York Italian. People who lose trades make a lot of stupid, irrational decisions based on emotions and what they hope will happen. Sometimes we try to force a trade when there is no trade. Sometimes we are too analytical to take a trade when there is a trade. Very, very good. So, you're not going to believe this. 6.47 p.m. It started on Sunday night. Look at this. It fell off a cliff. Where were we earlier? Hold on. All right, so it had pumped up. I don't know if I have every screenshot, but you could see here, right on time, and it began falling out and dumping, okay? Falling out and dumping here. Now, this is on a one hour, looking at the one hour. Past one hour chart happened exactly the time we predicted would happen, 7 p.m. New York City time, okay? Now, don't forget, we have time change. So here we have a daylight savings time nonsense. So it actually happens an hour earlier. Yes, it's very predictable. Trading rule number two does the same thing almost all the time. Does the same thing almost all the time. Now these dojis and this garbage you're watching on YouTube is not correct. Let's listen to a little bit of this nonsense. This is what you're probably running into out there with stupid, like, well, let me not cast aspersions, but kids. They really don't know what they're talking about. And all of this gobbledygook, none of this is in my private consultation. I teach you a simple game of war, but let's hear some of it. Video on YouTube truly teaches you to understand. <laughs> really, kid? Taking a deeper dive into what each candlestick uh, look means at this. will unlock your ability. And so what we want to do is truly understand what a candlestick is. All right, all of this is garbage. Uh, this, will drive, this is why you're not making money in crypto. Reading humanities, how you make money in crypto, and knowing, yes, the size of the candles, forget bullish, doji, bearish, blah, blah, blah. The size of the candles predicates the size of the move. There are times when we have a no trade zone where you will lose no matter if you long or short, and the one minute will lure you in. We actually use the three minute. Yes, we use the three minute as per BitMEX, and we enter our, our trades and take our profits on BitGet and Fibit. Both are linked right under the video. 
I would open an account with both of them now before any kind of regulations come where you may not be able to open an account, but you may be grandfathered in if you're already there. Hint, hint. So forget all this stuff. So we get this big dump exactly on time when we expected it. Okay. Why? Because it happens all the time over and over again. I'll tell you right here. Look, this is the truth. Oracle, Oracle said, said in a way I'm a pattern recognition specialist. I recognize patterns and we only need to be three seconds ahead of everybody else. And boom, here is your afternoon pump. Okay. Now, how do we know this happens? Let me go down here. I'm going to go to current time now in this DTU daily trade updates. This is what everybody follows when they join my discord. There is an offer, I think, down below to do a monthly and pay in Bitcoin if you want. Okay, so I'm going to take you all the way forward. Oh, we talk about the AM fake out and everything else. Look at this typo. Every time, every time they try to pump it, okay, it would get dumped. Okay, so and I'm walking them through all of this. And you could see here, this trade was down, hold on. 32%, 0.30 of a Bitcoin, almost a whole Bitcoin in the trade. And here's that same trade up 16%. There it is. Okay, up 16%. Same trade. This is what I teach people about being strong and believing in direction as if it's a religion. It was down and then it won. Boom. That's what it's about. Now, can you handle this part without hitting the sell button and taking a, a human loss? Well, that's that's a different thing than charts. That's emotional management. We'd have to cover that in another video. Let's go all the way down here to now. Okay, and you can see, look here, look here. I posted this this afternoon in the green room. I warned you that this pump would come, right? Now, this is another pattern. We're going to get to this in a second. This is another pattern, okay, that what happens is when we dump on a Sunday, this just happened this past week, okay? We dumped on a Sunday. The stock market opened down tremendously, tremendously, tremendously. Bitcoin follows the stock market a lot. So that Monday we dumped. Now, in all my experience, this is reading humanity, okay? From doing this over and over and over again and realizing it does the same thing. Every time the stock market opens on a Monday, down big, and it's a red day, it is very unlikely that you have two dumping days in a row. When it's a Monday open and it opens very down, they usually all buy the dip across the board the next day. And here you could see I had posted, think before you short. In most cases, you don't have two dump days in a row. Use the drill down. The stock market usually rebounds the day after a Monday like this. Bitcoin could follow it up. I've lost money like that back in the day. So I'm te literally teaching you. And sure enough, I took that snippet because it happened. And we pumped. And we pumped to, well, where are we now? Over 17,000, like I told you. Now, I'm going to take you to current times. Again, there are patterns here that happen all the time. That's one of the patterns. Okay, that we usually Bitcoin dumps on Sunday. If the stock market is down, okay, go here. Check this out. Hit CNN. CNN. Free market. That's what you want. CNN pre-market. And you look here. And this tells you about what's going to happen in the stock market tomorrow. It's usually accurate from 8 p.m. on in the evening, New York City time. As you get closer to the market's opening or market opens, it moves up more. This what are we looking at here? The Dow and the SP. Really the Dow. This is it right there. Okay, if this is or if this is all red, you know it's going to be a down day. If it's all green, it's an up day. Today was an up day. Now, let me take you one more time to my discord and show you the last thing i put now last year we had look we were, everything was good blah 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 and again these links are down below all of my people are using these links and they're using this pure vpn okay so come down here and this was a huge pump that we had out of nowhere okay it came out of nowhere and it happened the exact same time Okay, this Brazilian regulatory thing, how they're going to be the next, basically, El Salvador. Of course, they're going to agree to this and legalize this. I don't care. Yeah, whatever. All right. So, oh, my God. So, of course, they're going to legalize this. It's a great way to track money. It's a 
public ledger or blockchain of financing. Okay, all the drug cartels, everything. Listen, all the countries want a cashless society, and that's what crypto is becoming. So live with it, get used to it. But that was the big news. Okay, they're the next, they're the next El Salvador. But let's go down here. Okay, doing drill down. Now don't forget, this was 154. It is now, hold on, 2 18 p.m. in the afternoon at 154. Doing drill down now. I see the longs really don't have clear direction, but here. They can't at 150. Guys, this was 28 minutes ago. They can't resist fumbling over 17,000 again. And we were at 16,903. And well, you've seen it right here. And I'm going to post right here in real time. Boom. Took 28 minutes to meet my posting of FOMO over 17. When we opened the video, I told you they couldn't resist the whole number. Okay, look here. They can't resist FOMOing over 17 again. And that was roughly. 29 minutes ago, okay? And here's why. It's never a straight line, okay? But when you're this close to the whole number, which is 17K, K, and there's hope, they always hit it, okay? And this is the first wave of the afternoon pumps, what comes next. This is actually the 2 p.m. bus. Let me go and down here. Boom, there's the bus. There is the bus. We all know. We're all in my group. We all know. Look. Oh, he got cooked in a short. Harris, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just like the Fed announcement, insta-wrecked in either direction. Or you could get. This is where you can get, yeah. Okay. War formation, 17, anyone? Wow, look at the one hour. And boom, there's the bus. What I just showed you, we watched this happen from here to here to here. Again, what is this? It's predictive of human behavior plus time patterns. For whatever reason, Bitcoin, okay, follows these time patterns. This is the first wave of the afternoon pumps. They start at 2 p.m. Look, let me take you up here, daily trade updates. I'm going to take you to, hold on. All right, so they can't resist over 17. And where is it? First early warning, okay, was today 11 a.m. Starting to show green on the one hour, okay? And here, look. Now, we talk about the a.m. pump. This is another thing. We usually pump in the mornings. There are certain times that we pump, okay? And we catch that, okay? In the past hour, you can see, look, watch for AM pumps, and then boom, all of a sudden it hits. This is 826. Two hours later, I post, and you see there was this massive pump, okay? This is a one-hour chart right here when I use Coinbase. It just means I'm on my phone. These are the patterns that matter. These are the patterns that matter. And we can call it over and over every single day. So. There are many interesting patterns, and then there's the unexpected. The unexpected is news, okay? Markets are more moved by human emotion than any kind of stupid charting pattern or itsy-bitsy-titty-top or whatever you want to call it because none of that works. And the more of it you look at, the more conflicting signals you get, the worse of a trader you become. The worse of a trader you become. You witness this right in front of right in front of you. How at this time, and let me take you somewhere else. One last thing I'll share with everyone for subscribing and watching my videos. I'm gonna take you into the start here room. Critical timelines to be aware of. They cannot be promised, but you incorporate them into your thinking. Okay. Which hour dump? These come out of no nowhere. Nowhere. Between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. New York City time, you can see it coming on what we call the drill down. I teach to drill down inside part of my private group. AM pumps. We talked about this. The biggest one is from the bottom of the witching hour, which is here, 1 to 3 AM, the dump. Okay? And it happens somewhere in there. You can't be sleeping through it. you got to be there to catch it. We trade the one-minute chart. Boom. Wake up. Stay with the program. The biggest one forms, this is for AM pumps, and runs 90 minutes. We know the exact time. Okay, once you get the witching hour dump, we catch the AM pumps. We run them for 90 minutes. Okay, I call it the coffee trade. I'm usually out by 6 a.m. Below is a photo of the coffee trade. I don't know where it is. All right, the coffee trade pumps uh, slow, slow down by 6 a.m. And then you have two more pump waves from 7.30 a.m. to around and right after the stock market open. 10.30 a.m. Monday to Friday. 
Finally, there are the afternoon pumps, 2.30 to 4.30 p.m. What time is it now? Hold on. It's two, almost 2.30. It's 2.26. You see how on point this is? Why? Because Bitcoin is very predictable. People in my group know that Bitcoin is very predictable. They know and they are doing it on their own. Look, 50 new messages since I was here last. 242%. That is fucking epic, bro. Oh, my God. Right? Another one. I link these exchanges below. Okay? For BitGet, you need a VPN. Fibit, super simple. It's an easy-to-beat exchange. Look at this, man. Crushing it. New York Finance, 37%. 65%. Dartilium, 20%. 142% for Max Squabbler. Crazy Cuban, 137%. 145% Litecoin short. Bitcoin, 52%. ATM, 33%. After three days stuck in a trade, wins 33 And Tavi Princess, 91%. And it goes on and on. Eastern Promises. Eastern Promises, bro. 130%. Epic, epic trade. Crushing it, 90%. Look at this. These are just everyday people that took an opportunity to click the link under the video and join my group. So I hope this helped you a little bit, okay? about chart patterns and all this nonsense. And chart patterns don't work. And again, technical analysis is looking at the past to try to predict the future. What I teach you is looking at the current to try to see if the pump is getting weaker or stronger. I could tell you right now, the Green Army pump just got weaker. Okay, and the price did come down from wherever it was. It's high, I don't know. I didn't get a screenshot of the high. I just wanted to get up to 17, but you could see. And now we may start a new leg up. And this is all it is, is getting in front of the wave or on top of the dump, jumping off. I got to jump off. If you found this helpful, leave a comment down below. Even if you never did before, it'd be nice to uh, see somebody post other than the WhatsApp scammer who posts in, as me to the comments and gives you a WhatsApp number. I'd never give you a WhatsApp number. Don't call that person. It's a scam. Okay? Now. Do you think you could have made money knowing before, well in advance, rather than guessing that this was going to go up to 17000 like the people in my Discord? Well, if you think you could have made money, don't lose another trade. Join us. Link below the video. Have a great day.